Jack Andraka nació en 1997, tiene 18 años y está considerado uno de los científicos más importantes del mundo por haber desarrollado en el año 2012, cuando tenía 15 años, el sistema de diagnóstico de cáncer de páncreas. When I was 13, a close family friend, who was like an uncle to me, passed away from pancreatic cancer. When the disease hit so close to home, I knew I needed to learn more. So I went online to find answers. Over 85% of all pancreatic cancers are diagnosed late. When someone has less than a 2% chance of survival. The reason today's current modern medicine is a 60-year-old technique. That's older than my dad. Ganador del primer premio de la Feria Internacional de Ciencia y Tecnología de Intel, Andraka también ganó otros muchos galardones y buena parte de la comunidad científica internacional no deja de hablar maravillas de él. Lo que Andraka ha creado es un marcador para el cáncer parecido a las tiras que permiten a los diabéticos practicarse una pequeña incisión en el dedo, tras la cual un aparato no mayor a un teléfono móvil les dice cómo está la concentración de glucosa en su sangre. We're looking at your bloodstream, which is already abundant, all these tons and tons of protein. And you're looking for this minuscule difference in this tiny amount of protein. There's this one protein that's next to impossible. However, undeterred due to my teenage optimism, I went online to a teenager's two best friends, Google and Wikipedia. And what I had found was an article that listed a database of over 8,000 different proteins that are found when you have pancreatic cancer. So I decided to go and make it my new mission to go through all these proteins and see which ones could serve as a biomarker for pancreatic cancer. Finally, on the 4,000th try, when I'm close to losing my sanity, I find the protein. And the name of the protein I'd located was called mesothion. And it's just your ordinary run-of-the-mill type protein, unless, of course, you have pancreatic, ovarian, and lung cancer. In which case, it's found at these very high levels in your bloodstream. A Andraka se le ocurrió la idea mientras leía escondidas en el instituto, en las afueras de Washington, un artículo de la revista Science. I was sitting in class, and suddenly it hit me. I could combine what I was reading about, carbon nanotubes, with what I was supposed to be thinking about, antibodies. Essentially, I could weave a bunch of these antibodies into a network of carbon nanotubes such that you have a network that only reacts with one protein. El prodigioso Jack se dio cuenta de que su idea podía ser verdaderamente revolucionaria y decidió escribir un reporte contando su descubrimiento y solicitando un laboratorio para poder desarrollar su tesis. Mandó 200 correos, recibió 199 rechazos y solo un profesor de la Universidad John Hopkins lo convocó. Making a cancer sensor out of paper is about as simple as making chocolate chip cookies, which I love. You start with some water, pour in some nanotubes, add antibodies, mix it up, take some paper, dip it, dry it, and you can detect cancer. The result? One small paper sensor that costs three cents and takes five minutes to run. This makes it 168 times faster, over 26,000 times less expensive, and over 400 times more sensitive than our current standard for pancreatic cancer detection. It has close to 100% accuracy and can detect the cancer in the earliest stages when someone has close to 100% chance of survival. And it would do similar for ovarian and lung cancer. By switching out that antibody, you can look at a different protein, thus a different disease, potentially any disease in the entire world. La historia de Jack Andraka tiene un largo camino por delante y muchos aseguran que podría convertirse en el próximo Nobel de Medicina. Su creatividad no deja de sorprender, pero lo que más se destaca es su sentido humano y su impronta de que las cosas tienen que cambiar. Jack Andraka es un joven brillante y su vida es una huella no solo por el aporte científico que ya hizo a la humanidad, sino por el que seguirá entregando con su generoso sentido de responsabilidad por el otro.